Hey everyone, it's Rhonda with Ronnie Bell Designs. Today I'm sharing another flip through of a junk journal that is available right now in my Etsy shop. That shop is linked down below. Go ahead and check it on out. Mark it as a favorite shop and that way you won't miss any of the new releases that are coming. So this is obviously a frozen little golden book. They do measure approximately six by eight inches, the little golden book journals. And this one you can see has a really pretty fabric here on the binding. And it is a two inch spine on this, but it does have three signatures that are sewn in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at this. First, I wanted to share with you the little tassel on here because I think it's so cute. The colors obviously match really well with the front cover. And the little charms that are on here, I've got an Elsa charm. There's a couple of gold snowflakes here. And then there is an Anna charm right there. So that's the little journal charm. I thought it was so cute. Wanted to make sure you saw that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside book. I will share this with you in just a second. This is um, part of a, an ephemera pack that is included with my little golden book junk journal. So I'll go through that in just one second. This one does not have any writing on the inside cover. All of my little golden books do include the entire storybook, so the entire story of Frozen is included in here. This junk journal does have about 57 pages in it. That does include the storybook, and it does include, you'll see I've um, included some envelopes and that kind of thing. All of those count as part of the 57 pages. So we'll just go ahead and take a quick flip through. I've included a lot of cardstock that is blank on the back side. And I love using the blank side or the white sided cardstock because now you can create this and make it look however you want. You can add your own scrapbook paper, you can add lines for journaling, um, however you want to use it. So we'll just flip through this real quick. Here, this is an um, envelope. This is the one, the bottom part of the envelope. The really cool thing about this one is I actually had in my stash of stuff, I had a frozen songbook. And so I took out some of the um, music sheets. So this one is obviously let it go. So that is included in there. And then this one is in summer on the back side. Lots of fun, pretty papers. I've got some vintage ledger paper in here. And the papers go really well with the colors that are in the story. Again, more white paper for you. That's the other side of that vintage ledger paper. The other side of the sheet music. And this is the top part of that envelope. So this is the flap. Um, this just has um, the strip on here that you can peel away. If you wanted to close it, you could do that. If you wanted to use it to be able to hide some journaling, hide some photos, that kind of stuff, you can just go ahead and leave that open. Get more of the storybook. I love using pages of all different sizes. Uh, these page, small pages are my absolute favorite. So there's plenty of those included throughout here. Another ledger paper. This one is white where the other one on the other signature was green. Lots of room to make it your own. The other half of that ledger paper. Just another small sheet. That butterfly pattern is so pretty. There's another uh, sheet music. This one is for the first time in forever. This one is a regular um, envelope here. So you could, if you wanted to, cut right down here and so that this flap lifts up or you could just use it by itself. This one, I have been wanting to do this for a while, but my um, I don't always get the best uh, little golden book gold spines. Um, they don't always come off really neatly. So when they do, I like to save them and use them in the journal. So this is the um, signature little golden book spine here that I've attached just to this page. Another ledger paper. Oh, so pretty. Another half of that ledger paper, another smaller sheet, the other half of that envelope. You can just go um, glue it closed if you don't want to use it as an envelope. The other half of the music paper. 
Okay, and there we go. There is the little golden book journal. So now I'll share with you the pack of ephemera that comes with all of my little golden book junk journals. So inside here, I've included some goodies to get you started, things that you can use in your little golden book junk journal. So we'll take a look at what's included here. This is a bottle cap charm, and I don't know if you can tell from that, but it's just part of a um, icicle. Icicle? No, that's a snowflake. Sorry, snowflake. And what I like to do with these, it's got the paper clip on it, and I love to just attach it to the edge of your page, just like that. And so it's going to dangle out here, just like that. I can pull it out a little bit more, but I love that. So I've included one of the bottle cap charms. I've also included a bunch of tickets. I love to use these as tabs, either on the side of my pages or on the top. And I also like to use them as a base for embellishment clusters. So tickets are really, really handy. You can use them in many ways. I've also included these two paper clips. This one is a stitched um, snowflake paper clip, and this one is foam, but it's got it's got a little bit of glitter to it. And again, these are great to add to the top of your pages just for some extra decoration hanging out of your pages there. I've also included some tabs. So there are three, four tabs. Four tabs here that you can go ahead and attach again to the side of your pages just for some extra decoration. Or you can attach it, I like to attach it to the envelopes that are made in the, here inside the signatures. You can attach those to the top of the envelopes. Um, you can also attach them to the top of smaller pages just so it's it's very clear that that is a smaller page and you can turn that. I like to use tabs all throughout my journals. I've also included this library card pocket. Whoa. Sorry about that. I've also included this library card pocket. Um, I like to leave it separate so that you can add it to the inside cover if you want to. And if you don't want to, you can save it and use it for something else. I've also recycled some of these um, envelopes, these craft envelopes that I have. So um, I've included one of those. Again, great spots for to tuck photos, to tuck your journaling, um, you know, little keepsakes, whatever you want to use, you can do in here. And I've just added the sticker that says Everyday Fairy Tale. There are um, a couple of index cards. So the pink and the blue, or, I'm sorry, purple and blue that go with that book. I've made a tag here. So you can attach this. What I would do with this is add some washi or some regular tape on the side of this and attach it on one side. So it's a flip. That's how I would use that, but you can do whatever you want to with that one. I've also included this glassine bag, which is great on its own. Again, photos, journaling, whatever you want to. I've put dried flowers. Um, I had collected some flowers um, from a wedding that I was at and I dried and pressed them and I tucked them in the glassine bag folded this over and added a sticker there and put this in my album. And then there is another tag here. You can actually leave it included in the bag if you wanted to and just make that a pull out or you can use it separately. But again, in the same colors as the journals. So there you go. That's the ephemera, pa ephemera pack and the junk journal. These are available in my Etsy shop right now. Please leave me a comment below. If you have any questions about this, leave me a comment on Etsy, wherever I will get back to you on that. If you have any comments, please leave those as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you soon with another flip through. Have a great day. Bye-bye.